In Ericsson's role is of course trying to provide limitless mobile connectivity across the world. I think we are an old company, been there for more than 130 years. And of course today have more than 109 5G networks out in the world. With 5G you can't any longer take months to, to for instance, deploy a new offering or deploy a new application. It needs to be much, much quicker. When you look at 5G, there's true transformation that needs to be done. One is actually on, on the 5G BSS system as such. It needs to be prepared for 5G. It needs to be prepared for handle use cases. It needs to be quicker. It needs to be more agile. It needs to be more flexible. Ericsson is the leader in 5G and AWS is the leader in cloud. It's a very good combination to start with. Our partnership started in uh, May 2021, and this is obviously an approach to a long-term journey uh, together with AWS. Looking at the benefits, what we see is from Ericsson's side to use the experience and the competence that we see at AWS. Second part is really the scale and the reach that AWS has on the market. Looking forward now, I think we are in the phases where uh, we are preparing our full BSS portfolio to be possible to deploy on, on Amazon. There is also another opportunity, and that is of course also to look on the ecosystem and the partnership approach that AWS has and see what we could benefit from that.